if you've just started studying economics or are just curious about the subject and want to know more, then this video is for you. It's an introduction to what economics is, why it's studied and who some of the key participants are. It's the first in a series that will cover the content of the OCR and AQA GCSE economics courses. There are many different fields of economics, but it all boils down to being about the study of choice and decision making. Making choices is something you've been doing since a young age. Some choices are easy, some are difficult, some you don't have enough information to make with confidence and some bring us into conflict with others. What economics seeks to do is to explain the behaviour of different economic groups or individuals, and we'll look more at these later, and their economic relationships with each other. How it's decided, what's produced, in what quantities, by who and for whom. Over time, economists have come up with ideas or hypotheses about how the economy functions. Some of these have been tested enough to become theories which are generally held to be true. A few theories are seen as strong enough to be laws, things that always occur. Your study of economics will follow a path of learning about the theories that have been developed about how the economy is believed to work and also looking deeper to explore the exceptions, how what we think should happen doesn't always occur. Be prepared to think critically, to look for assumptions that are being made and to challenge those assumptions if you don't think they'll always be accurate. Economics is the study of how our resources are being used and what they're being used to produce who buy and who for. Our resources are what we call factors of production, and we'll look at those in more detail in the next video. But for now, we need to explain a couple of terms and find out who our main participants in the economy are. We call what is produced in the economy goods and services. Goods are tangible products. They can be seen and touched. Services are intangible or invisible where someone is doing something for someone else. The economy has three main groups of participants, of which we've mentioned two already, and each of these is assumed to have different aims. One of those groups is consumers, a person or organisation who's buying goods or services for their own use. Consumers will make decisions with the aim of maximising their economic welfare, that is, getting the most benefit or satisfaction, what we call utility, that they can from the resources, money and time that they have. Another participant is producers. Although these are often referred to as firms, it's actually any person, business or country that makes or grows and supplies a good or service. We assume that producers will aim to maximise their profits, making the most money that they can from the resources that they have available. And in a future video, we'll look at how this aim of firms works together with the decisions of consumers to determine what's produced, in what amounts, and is sold at what price and to who. Consumers and producers are interdependent, meaning that one group will be affected by and will respond to the actions of the other. The preferences of and choices made by consumers will affect producers' decisions on what to produce and in what quantities. And in return, changes made by producers will also affect consumers' decisions on what to buy and in what quantities. For example, if consumers were willing to pay more for a good, then producers are more likely to offer it for sale and at a higher price. If producers find a way to produce a good at a lower cost, then they may lower the selling price and so consumers are more likely to buy it or they'll buy more of it than they were before. Where consumers and producers meet to exchange goods and services is known as a market. This is a theoretical term as well as sometimes being a physical place and where consumers and producers are the only participants, this is known as a free market. Sometimes the market may not be working as well as it should, more on this in a later video too, and the government will get involved. The government is a group that has the power to run a country, making decisions and enforcing the rules. It affects economies in two main ways. One is through intervening in markets to influence what's being produced or the price at which it's sold and the other is through managing the economy as a whole, through laws, spending, taxation, and other economic tools. We generally assume that the aim of a government is to ensure fairness and to improve the standard of living or well-being of its population. Again, all of this is looked at in another topic, but it's worth noting now that fairness and standard of living are not easily measurable, and opinions on what's most important or how best to achieve it will vary from one person to another. 
The study of governments and its actions is called political science and political thought often influences economic decision making. If this video has helped you then please hit the like button, click subscribe and check out the next one.